to that. He's been having problems with his leg. So we'll keep an eye on uh, Hernandez. Leave it blue. Redden. O'Gara. Four, come out. OK. And it's Borges again. This nippy little winger. O'Gara's having Roll a difficult four. start, isn't he? Hands it's a poor green. kick again. No, back He's up feeding Corletto and four Borges. Inside. Holding. And no problem with that strike from Hernandez, but he's not moving freely. Come here, come here. Murphy, yep. Gary Owen, and nearly I a brave I'm not chase. Me, guys. And brave there too from oh, Pichot, who grabs the ball. Four, leave it. With arms and legs flying. Ledesma, well, they keep giving it to Hernandez. Corletto. He's a player, Corletto, isn't he? Balls out, play on. Well, all the pace you'd want from a fullback, but tremendous strength as well. Celso that showing his strength with that carry forward. Let him play and when Argentina green. get in their stride, they look a very good team again. But that is Paul O'Connell and Donnacher O'Callaghan, and you sense that those two would set the benchmark right, for Ireland right. today. Yeah, they've got a light Ireland up. And O'Connell's had a good yep, first 20, that, there's no doubt. Darcy back in the fullback position. Leave it blue! Kane Island looking to run from deep. At your peril, Island, because Argentina's chasing game is excellent. They make their one on one tackles. Yep. And this kicking game is so important as well. Oh, Hernandez. How did he come out with that ball? P shot. Chips ahead, Coletto. Agora, beware here. Well, I must say, the half-backs are really dominant. What a bonus when you've got a fly half who takes a high ball as well as anyone, with the possible exception of Latham in the world, and then Corletto, who's playing full-back with all that pace. Ireland didn't kick badly, and they are hurt. Hernandez, eye on the ball, all class, all awareness of the space, and Argentina are starting to look good. I must say, the drive and control of their pack is more impressive than it was against France. They're finding some rhythm. Yes. These are difficult moments for Ireland. Christoph, we have a blood. Seven green. Replacement, please. David Wallace yeah, has a blood injury. Smart kick from Pichot, wasn't he? He was almost losing the ball. He hacked it on and then called it on the game, please. in pursuit there. It's the sort of Stade Francais men, Borges, Hernandez, Corletto, Pichot. They're inspired by the Parc de France. Everyone wants Ireland, but these boys from Argentina don't just care. Just they are tight. Right to the whistle. Neil Best is on for David Wallace, who goes to the uh, blood bin. The Desma going towards Best. Oh, oh, not forward by Ogara, that was a terrific chance to clear. Now it will be I didn't see it, an Argentina so scrum. Yeah, well, an overthrow there, and, and as you say, you okay, thought Ireland would clear their line, and I just wonder whether Hernandez will say, well, we'll have a little look once, and if nothing's on, I'll just take another three points. Contopomi is flat. They could hit up once, take the three. He's starting to saunter, isn't he, the fly half? Going down the short side. Felipe Contopomi flat and ready to hit off Longo. There is Longo. That large presence at number eight. Oh, Ostiglia. Island trying to tackle around that fringe. Been called out once before, just short of the line. Hernandez. Ball is loose. And a knock on, and now Ireland to put in. Well, these are desperate moments for Ireland there. The Argentine backs not quite able to match their forwards, who are really slotted into gear Time now. And Ireland hanging on at the moment. There is one more pool game left today. It's South Africa against the United States, and you can follow that on ITV4 from uh, 6.30. No midweek rugby this week, of course. It's uh, quarterfinals next weekend in the Rugby World Cup, but there's football for you with the Champions League on Tuesday. Our live coverage includes Manchester United versus Roma, 
on ITV1. And then it's uh, Star Book Arrest if you follow Arsenal on uh, ITV4. So that's where you'll be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they where Ireland are at the moment. Oh, we the bad play, we just the Argentina up, wanted a better quickly, set quickly. piece. It is better. Their territorial game is good. They're chasing well. They are really closing this game down at the moment. Ireland on the back foot. It's a useful breather, this for Ireland. Bit well, of a timeout. It is because I. Argentina are starting to cause Ireland more problems than France did for a long time. Down the middle, please. A week and a bit ago, they really are. Touch. They look fired Touch. up up front, Balls and Ireland are, are hanging on. They have to come out of here without leaking any points. Number three, don't fold in for me, please. Don't fold in. It's coming in, sir. I'm watching, I'm watching. Uh, too close, too close to Argentina. Crouch, touch. Pause, engage. And Argentina working hard at that scrum, as is their tradition. Never seen an Argentine side without an effective scrum, whatever year. And talking of props, let's go to uh, our prop, Paul Wallace, Wally. Yeah, it's great heroic defence by Ireland there. But you know, they're getting the quick ball, which we, we thought they wouldn't be able to get against Argentina. I, I think Argentina are very nervous about Paul Hannes blowing them up uh, all over the park for, for maybe not rolling away from the ball. The problem is getting through the Argentine defence, especially their forwards. They're getting out, they're coming up and making massive hits. And Ireland really not getting across the game line. But they've got to stick with the game plan. Uh, the opportunities will open up as the game goes on and the Argentine players get a bit, bit more tired and spaces uh, uh, evolve. And then you might see Darcy O'Driscoll getting into space. Just got to, just got to stay in there and, and stay positive. Mm. Thanks, Paul. How much ball has Albacete taken in this World Five Cup? Five seconds, Argentina. Another fine take at that line out. Hold, hold. It's having a towering competition. Jordan Murphy needed to be tall there, but it breaks for Brian O'Driscoll. Redden. Murphy. Looking to conjure the magic. Looking to conjure the magic. If he is to be the uh, genie of the lamp, it's got to be four wishes today, not three. Okay. Just not getting anywhere, though, are they? Always the danger of the turnover. I was listening to Paul there, and good old Wally, that was almost the voice of um, faith, I would say, there. Because at the moment, Ireland's other problem is Argentina are starting to drive this ball and control. And Paul's brother David has returned to the field and Neil Best takes his leave for now. Well, his brother David, along with Dennis Leamy, has also got to get an injection of pace into this game off the pack. If it's just played a solid, steady third gear, Argentina will love that. Yeah, it's over. It's fine. Yeah, you were fine, yeah. Seem to be plenty of Six. options for Argentina Eight, at the line-out. And again, Ledesma is right on the money with his throwing. Felipe Contopomi, Manuel Contopomi and Hernandez. Release, Blue! No, he wasn't coming out, no. Paul Honis no. gives the penalty. Difficult kick for Ronan Ogaro, hasn't stroked, struck the ball that well. Jordan Murphy in with a tackle ball held by Felipe. Contopomi and Ronan Ogaro now. Go steady, solid, and Ireland, after a period of defending, finally have an attacking launch pad. In your view, do Ireland have to get a try before half-time? It's four too many in the second half. Argentina. One every ten minutes, I would say so, when you see the quality of line-out play from the likes of Longo. I just don't see this Argentina team tiring because they play in France and England, they're professional, they're a different Argentina team. Ireland also have to give themselves reasons to believe going into the tunnel, I think. Tries can come in batches at the end of a game, but to be asked to score four at international level in one half against this opposition. Well, we shall see. Horgan 
No play on backwards. Flannery needs to be strong here. Release, release. Play on. Oh, Argentina have done a brilliant knock job on, there in the end. On first. And knock on long go the eight. Knock on by Blue. Hey, hey, hey. It's about the fourth time, isn't it, we have seen Ireland just driven 15, 20 metres backwards as they try and force the game. Is that Mark? Useful little bit of fortune this try to engage. the knock on. Once again, that breakdown was being uh, bossed by Argentina. Watch it. Murphy. Now, where will this break? And Murphy goes to the fourth. Pauletta looks straight to the referee and says no. Murphy is still down, and the. Uh, well, both sets of supporters don't like it. Irish supporters feel that he's been uh, dumped off the ball, and all around us, Argentina supporters are saying that this is play acting from Jordan Murphy. Joubert's flag is up on the near side. P Shot wants to have his eighth as well. Just a check with the shoulder. Against 15 blue. A check with the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Just a use of the shoulder. Okay. Sometimes shoulder. it's a giveaway when the players react as Corletto did there. Looks straight to the referee, threw his arms in the air. And O'Gara's going for the corner. That's the uh, check with the shoulder, as described by the officials. Quite right as well. It's an illegal block there, and it enabled Hernandez to get that ball away, and it enables Ireland to march into the 22, and they do need something very soon. They need a good throw from Flannery, they need a drive, they've got a dent Argentina self-belief as well as ignite their own. It began with such promise for Ireland, but as yet nothing to show apart from three points from that Ronan O'Gara penalty, but Leamy has uh, got that back, and it might work! O'Driscoll! The first one is in the net! Uh -huh. Three big fish still to catch, but Brian O'Driscoll has got everybody going here. Had to be O'Driscoll, didn't it? The key, though, is O'Gara, so flat there, and that's why O'Driscoll is able to use that swivelling, swerving strength of his much better from the fly half. Argentina caught on the angle there, spins out of Hernandez half tackle, and there's nothing flash there. Ball under two arms as Eddie O'Sullivan is finally out of his seat. O'Driscoll wasn't going to give that one up, but O'Gara flat, and suddenly Argentina's midfield breached. Not just a try, but a uh, conversion to give Ireland the lead. Well, he's one of the world's greats, perhaps the greatest in his position in recent times. He deserves the greatest games on the greatest stage. That's the kind of reaction he can bring. Ireland 10, Argentina 8. Hickey came in, didn't make it, but then Morgan can call that up, and now it's a chase up the line. And a different feel, totally different feel. Argentina were in control of the pace and the tempo, everything, but O'Driscoll and O'Gara have combined, and now this place sounds, smells, feels like Lansdowne Road. Look at that. You can almost see the Guinness flowing over. There's some belief. And Argentina suddenly wobbling. But if you put it down, it would help. If only. If only. Argentina may be wobbling, but not at that line-out. Pichol gets a crack on the head. Hernandez, Murphy... This is what he's in the side for, moments like this. Counter-attacking, O'Gara. And Pichot has time. And it's back with Murphy. Trying to find a way. And a drop ball. Anguish. 
It's almost like a game of dare. Peace shot just fires that ball back to Jordan Murphy and says, come on, counter, because Argentina will back themselves to turn over and win the game that way, and Murphy is there to actually break that defence. It's a fascinating little plot within this game. Ireland's counter game against Argentine kicking. And Marcus Moran would normally...